I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you one of the most interesting questions from this question paper, Functions 2017. Question number 16 is, the graph of f of x equals to minus 2x squared minus 12x plus 10 is translated 5 units right and 1 unit down to g of x. Find g of x in standard form. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, whenever you work with quadratic equations and you're looking into transformations, it's a good idea to complete the squares and write the equation in vertex form, right? That's the key to solve this kind of question, right? So the key here is to write this in the vertex form, right? So let's do this. We are given f of x equals to minus 2x squared minus 12x plus 10. So we can take minus 2 common. We get x squared plus dividing this by 2. We get 6x plus 10. Now we'll do x squared plus 6x. Half of 6 is 3, so we'll add and subtract 3 square plus 10. Now these three terms form a perfect square, so we have minus 2, x plus 3 whole square, minus 9 plus 10. Open the bracket, so we get minus 2, x plus 3 whole square, minus minus makes it positive 18 plus 10 and that is minus 2 x plus 3 whole square plus 28 right so that becomes the function in vertex form now we are going to do the transformation it is translated 5 units right and 1 unit down so g of x is equal to when I say 5 units right, that means we'll do minus 5 here, right? So we have minus 2, x plus 3, minus 5 whole square. That is 5 units right. 1 unit down means plus 28, minus 1. You get an idea. So that is 1 unit down. So that is how we should be working. Now, since we want to do it in standard form, we need to simplify this, right? So we get minus 2 times x, 3 minus 5 is minus 2 whole square plus 27. That is minus 2 times x square minus 4x plus 4 plus 27, which is minus 2x square minus minus makes it plus 8x minus 8 plus 27 which is minus 2x square plus 8x and that is 19 right so that becomes the answer in standard form correct so g of x is minus 2x square plus 8x plus 19 so i hope that is absolutely clear right so that becomes the answer for the given question so the strategy here is to write the function in the vertex form and then do the transformation. Correct? So the complex complexity of the question could be we could introduce vertical and horizontal stretch factors. Even then, this will help. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.